All right, so welcome to day 20. We're gonna continue on with this and I already kind of more or less decided what, how I'm gonna do this, how I'm gonna solve this uh, problem. And because in the last video, I was kind of like Googling around, figuring out how to um, write the code and, and also how, what the workflow will, what the general workflow will be. But I more or less, I think I decided, I think we have to decide something and move forward rather than continuously thinking about it. So what we'll do is we'll uh, create the, content like we did in the last video. So in the last video, uh, we this, we created the content here, right? So, um, pick a controller here where we did the content, but what I actually wanna do is I wanna do this, but I also want, I actually wanna send it in this um, mind type. So rather than sending application JSON, we'll send text VND turbo stream HTML. And the reason is, is because um, when we upload the file, I wanna add, I wanna render that, um, that little component that we built here. And while we can do that with uh, JavaScript, I wanna use uh, turbo uh, for this. And so, hold on, so here we'll say, um, stimulus uh, constant. I think we can just say header. We'll just save the header as a constant like this. And we'll define headers. Like that. And we'll try uploading a file again to see what that looks like. All right. And in our server, it comes in as product contents create as TurboStream, exactly what I wanted. And if we look in our database, we do have a new content. And with that, what we'll do is open up our uh, products contents controller or actually API contents controller and technically is this an API I don't know but let's actually try getting rid of this protect from forgery and try again and it looks like this time it doesn't work because we do indeed need the protect from forgery like this and what if we have Authenticate with user. What does that do? Still doesn't work because now it's doesn't have the you know correct authentication. We'll we'll build we'll build that later on. Alright, so Okay, this time it worked, right? Or did it work? Okay, it's working. Um, see if we don't have any of that. Okay, this time it really doesn't work. Okay, so we'll put the protect from forgery in and we'll try again and everything indeed works. Why does this still show? That's a little, it's a little weird. Why is that showing? Maybe I have to put that as well. Still shows. I don't know, but regardless, we'll uh, continue on. And what we'll do is we'll say respond to do format format dot turbo stream. And I actually don't know how to do this. So Rails Turbo Stream uh, create. I want a Rails example. 
my glasses on. Uh, essentially, it's okay, so format uh, turbo stream. So what I do need is I want I have to make a new folder. stream.erb I'm gonna open up that file and here and actually I want to say here Turbo stream dot turbo stream append where is turbo frame? I wanna see what turbo frame looks like. Frame tag. So what we'll do is write in the app views products contents or products edit index here this will be a turbo frame tag and we'll call this um, uploaded files do render this and Uploaded files do. I want to say render uploaded file component name content tab name. See what that looks like. Okay, cool. Stays and here we do content dot name like this. All right, let's see what this let's see what this does. Probably some error. Rendering API contents okay, but why isn't this working? Maybe I, maybe I don't need render.
Hmm. Let's see, view component with turbo stream. I think it's because of this. Ah, yeah, this is the guy who runs the super rails thing, right? Yaro. But it looks like... Render to string might work, so... Ah, let's see if it works. Doesn't work. Undefined method render to string for action view base. Turbo stream update. Okay, turbo stream append. Ah, I think I know what it is. It's not, I can't have a do block. It's essentially render something like this. Something like that. Doesn't work either. How about something like that? Doesn't work. Um, now we do render, but open up a new parentheses. Doesn't work either. Uh, I think maybe to string. Okay, so we're having a little bit of trouble here. So turbo stream, okay. This was two years ago. How about we do render in view context.
Well, I mean, this is what I was doing. But it looks like it wasn't working. Yeah, this is exactly what I was doing. Let's try again. Create. And uploaded files. And this is the turbo frame tag. And it's spelled, spelled correctly. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Let's see, it's append, right? Append. Okay, actually, let's take a look at this. And this is indeed turbo frame, right? And then uploaded files, okay. Maybe it has to be, a, no, it can't be that. I don't think it's that dumb. Data controller. Oh, I, I know, I know why it's, um, it's not exactly this. It's a. Uh, I made a. I made a video about this. I gotta take a. I gotta take a look at that. Eres libre, yeah, libre para comerte el mundo y ponerle los sabores que initially... quieras. Ahora somos siempre libre. La misma Stay Free con um, nuevo nombre. I, I remember when Poder I was initially liderar. building this. Like, Poder es lograr I was que otros cumplan sus project. sueños. And there was a Poder time where I had to actually message, which will with this, but um, this is exactly what I was looking for. Render stream message. So, okay. That's important for for um. In case we have our hello so we'll URL here. here. So dependencies like dot then render stream message HTML here. Okay, and then you get the response, and then you get. Okay. Think. What was the? Uh, it's uh, a control example app. It's an app user account. User account. Want to set up a combination of um, console F and um, this is what I think that's it. I'm missing really text of that was code. This user count. Okay, cool. Want um, Bush cream uh, text of that response, which I wonder is if you can do this with Axios easily. So you can do multiple thens, right? So you can do after this, then this is what? Response starts text, and then Turbo dot render stream message. I think that might work, but I have no idea, to be honest. 
response text is not a function. Okay. And we'll see what the response is. Response is data. Okay. How about I just do turbo dot render stream message response data. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right, so get rid of this. And actually can do then response turbo. again cool everything is working properly now I kind of want if I upload a file here are they tied together they are mm. in my case do I care about them being hold on why isn't it working now what did I do? Okay. Now, I kind of want... Ah, I'll, I'll take care of the styling later. It's not a big deal. Um, now, what I really want is after it's uploaded, I want to start actually like, you see how if I upload this, it's uploading here. I want to start building that. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I'm going to stop the video here. The, the goal for this video was to be able to actually create a content and then have a render. Uh, so in the next video, we're gonna start, well, first of all, this isn't a zip file, so we'll get this, the correct file format to show up. Can we do that? Is that possible? Um, yeah, I think it is. And then we'll say, Then we'll also get the bytes, right? Properly. So bytes to kilobytes is what? 151 kilobytes. If we go to our desktop. Yeah, it's about right. Um, Okay. We'll we'll get that done in the next video and we'll we'll try to get the upload working. I don't know how easy that would be, but uh one one step at a time. I think in this app it's uploading the files and then uh, making the I guess the show page and making the actual transactions working are the big are the big ones. Um, so uh, thanks for sticking with me throughout this arduous process. Uh, and uh, we'll continue on with this uh, in the next day. All right, stay tuned.